lamp here. <laughs> yes, a heat lamp because we're cold in here, but also for yeah. demonstrating how you can keep the heat out of your house during the summer. Right. Originally, I brought it in to do the demonstration to show how the tint actually really cools your windows off. I mean, it is burning on this side and very cool on this side, and that's just the tint that I put on there. Mm -hmm. um, but then we're, we were uh, chilling, <laughs> waiting for the segment, and it was chilly in here, so I turned it on and it actually warmed us up. So many, so many purposes. Dual so many purposes. Uses. All right, so okay. how to get this on your window. Right, this is the heat control tint, and you know, in the first segment we talked about the different kinds that you can get decorative, privacy control, mm -hmm. glare control, but we're going to show how to install the heat control right now because that's going to give us the most benefit through the summer. So what you're going to do is it comes in uh, rolls and it comes in a couple different sizes, 36 which is 3 feet or 4 feet and then it comes in uh, 78 inches long. So you may need a couple rolls, it's about 40 under $45 for the roll and it will cover as many windows depending on the size of your windows. So um, you're going to clean your windows really good. Now a couple different things. You can use a glass cleaner, Windex, ammonia free though. Okay. Okay, so mo regular Windex has ammonia in it. We want to use the ammonia free or this is the best way to go which is the window film application kit and it comes with the window film solution, um, a razor blade, a squeegee uh, slash scraper and a cloth. Okay. So that gives you everything you need um, for the uh, application. So one thing I want to mention is uh, some of the tints, and they vary, come with a backing mm -hmm. to keep the sticky. And so the best way to separate I that this tip. is to use scotch tape, one piece on the back mm -hmm. and one piece on the front, and you stick it and then it separates it. So makes it real Love. easy and you don't have to peel it. Such a hacker tip. Such a hacker tip. And then also um, for cutting it, you're just going to use a regular utility knife and a cutting board or a surface underneath and it cuts very simply um, right like that. So this uh, heat control has a grid liner on it and you can see the grids there. For straight um, cuts. And for straight cuts. So you're going to use a straight edge to cut it. Now one side has a factory edge which comes off the roll. So you want to use a factory edge on every window and then cut the other three sides about an inch over so that you can trim it in the window. Mm -hmm. Once you start, you're going to clean your window really good, which I've already done, with the Windex or your solution. And then after it's really clean, you're going to saturate it. And you might want to put a cloth down. I'll just clean this one up when we're done. But excessive moisture helps the installation. Then you're going to peel your backing off. Again, that was the ammonia free. Again, this is ammonia free. This okay. is from the application kit. Uh -huh. And we're going to put it on the window like so and you're going to position it and the extra moisture is going to allow you to move it so that you can get it exactly where you want it and slide it around and we're just going to add a little more moisture when if it's a little sticky. Well you ain't lying. Yeah and this gives you the opportunity to slide it and do whatever you need to do. Now the main problem everybody has bubbles. is bubbles. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your squeegee and from the center in each direction so Push all out. the air and moisture goes. Now before you do that you want to spray the front of it as well You're kidding me. because the squeegee works best with water. So now we're going to start at the bottom oh, I'm gonna move your sleeve and up. pull down. Oh thank you. So you can see. There we go. <laughs> Lisa warned me about those sleeves. And then we're just going to from the center out Look. and the center up and this will give you every bubble out uh -huh. and when you have a little now say in the corner you have a little extra that you can't get out you can just lift it up uh -huh. spray and then smooth it down like so so it's gonna really um, come out bubble free uh, once you're done and then you're just gonna take your utility knife and I like to get a nice tip on it and then you're just going to cut it against the window like so and then you'll smooth it one more time okay and basically, that's it. When you're cleaning it, you also want to leave, uh, use ammonia-free solution uh, to clean it. And after a year or um, two, the one that's static clean, which there's two different kinds. One has adhesive on it, right. and one is a clean. The clean one will last about, you know, two to three seasons. Yep, you can keep. 
And you just want to make sure you uh, use your squeegee. And of course, squeegees. it's on uh, an easel, but yeah. when it's in your window, you can press a little harder. Yeah. And it really comes out beautiful, and it will really lower your uh, energy bill by 20 to 40 percent. So, Debbie, all the information is going to be on uh, azfamily.com or on uh, my uh, Facebook, mm -hmm. Instagram, Twitter, all that. So, check it out. Yeah, oh, Debbie. Thank you. Are you. A gem.